Thank you all for joining us. Today we have the incredible Sonequa Martin-Green um, joining us and we're gonna have a very candid and fun parenting conversation amongst all of us ladies. Um, we are gonna do the Toon Squad versus Goon Squad parenting edition. And I'm gonna go around and call on all of us, including Sonequa, to give us that Toon Squad parenting win moment that we all have and we're so proud of us. We feel like we've got a handle on this whole parenting thing. And then the Goon Squad fail moment where you look at yourself and go, how did anybody let me be a parent? <laughs> so then after that, and we got that out of the way, then we're gonna have some uh, conversation about Space Jam and New Legacy. So first off, Sonequa, will you kick us off with your Toon Squad win parenting moment? Okay, here we go. Um, you know, I, I, I must say j just recently, uh, probably about a, a couple of months ago, um, my son who's six now um, said at dinner uh, that he feels like he hasn't really had to sacrifice that much from the pandemic um, because we were talking about, we were, we were, we were telling him how proud we are of him. And I was telling him that, you know, I just really uh, appreciate how he's been handling everything, you know, having to give up things, having to do things in su such a different way. And he said, well, you know, I don't really feel like I've had to lose a lot of things um, in, in, in the pandemic, you know, things that things have actually still been really, really good and fun for me, you know, and I just was like, ah, Yes, because <laughs> we've tried so hard to like make sure he knows what's happening so he has ownership and 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 make it an adventure and you know all of that. So that was um that was great to hear. I would um, say that's a huge win right there. Yes, right there. That's win. a huge win. Thank yes. you. And then what's your and fail moment that we've all had? The fail moment is uh, let's see. The, you know what is a fail moment is is when they they fall and 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 hurt themselves. There was one time where my son fell and hurt himself, and I wasn't able to get to him fast enough. Um, so it was actually my husband who was physically closer to him. So he actually got to him first. He ended up being fine. It was just like a sort of bump on the head, but it, but it did scare him. And he, and he was, um, you know, he was upset, but I had, I had tried to get there and didn't. And he was like, mommy, why, why didn't you get to me? You know, like, or why? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I tried. So cool. Yeah. Daddy was closer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to blame him. Let's just blame him. Those are great moments. Okay, now we're going to kind of throw it out to our crowd. So, um, Carolina, why don't you share with us your Toon Squad win and your Goon Squad fail? Hi, I'm Carolina from What She Says. Um, I just want to say I'm a huge fan. So, hi. <laughs> um, so, my big when I would say is my four-year-old is, so I have two, I have two toddlers, a four-year-old and a, and a two and a half-year-old. And um, we had a friend come over and instead of saying, you know, hi, you know, he says, hi, what are your pronouns? So I think that's a big one for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. For us. And yeah, I was like, what? Like, and we have that conversation with them, but he, he just says, hi, you know, what are your pronouns? So that was, that was a good one for us. That made me happy. Um, a fail, um, one that comes to mind is more of like a, just like a funny moment that I'm like, oh my gosh, I should really be careful what I listen to. Um, my spouse was in the car with my, with the boys and I can, and they came home and they're like, why do our boys know how to sing every single word to ushers? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no reason. It's fine. <laughs> it's a so, good song. <laughs> right. Yeah. Those are great. Okay, next up we've got Tessa, Tessa Smith. Hi, I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com. And uh, the win would be um, my 10 year old got moved to virtual schooling, obviously during the pandemic, and she was really struggling with it. And when we decided to bring her back, I spent some time with her going over math and ELA, and then she got an award as the second most improved in school. So I thought that was a big deal. I was so proud of her and also like, Good job, mom, for, for taking yeah. that time. <laughs> so that was really super exciting. And so what's your fail? fail? Oh, it's got to do with my youngest. She's eight. But about two years ago, we were going on vacation. 
And I told her I packed her snuggle bunny that she cannot sleep without. And apparently I did not pack her snuggle bunny. And she has yet to let me forget that. Uh, she spent a week without her bunny that she couldn't sleep with. Uh, she fell asleep fine, of course, but she still doesn't let me hear that. Every time we pack, are you sure you packed snuggle bunny? <laughs> so she has At least you didn't it. lose it permanently. Exactly. I would have had to buy a new one. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> at least you salvaged that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one's going to come from Amy Fulcher from As the Bunny Hops. Hi, um, so mine are actually, the fail and the win are connected. Um, I've got a reputation in my family. I'm the fun one. I'm the person who gets to do all the cool stuff and take everybody cool places and give them cool things. So that's the kind of expectation they have, and I love being able to do that. But to tie that in, there was one time after a day of like, feeding everybody in the family, giving them all kinds of junk, taking them on rides, doing all kinds of fun stuff. We're on a road trip home that's about a halfway into the hour trip home. And my niece threw up over everything in the back of the car. And to make it worse, we're on the middle of the interstate. I completely panicked. I just kept, I was like, are you okay? And she was like, I feel better now. I just kept driving. <laughs> and we get home and I'm telling everybody and they're like, why didn't you stop? Why didn't you? And I was like, I don't know. I just kept driving. I was on the interstate. At least you got them home. <laughs> <laughs> and safely, might I tell you. So that's kind of a win. That is. I love it. Okay, our next uh, Toon Squad, Goon Squad moment is going to come from Ashley Saunders from Ashley and Company. Hi. Um, so my win is, well, the kids have been pretty great during the pandemic. Kind of like you were talking about your son. It was kind of just like, oh, I'm just rolling with it. Um, my daughter struggled a little bit with virtual schooling. I think everybody kind of did that, but she pulled it out. And my son, man, he's, I feel like he's thriving, honestly. He's, he posts up all comfortable on his beanbag going to schoolwork and just, he's great. I mean, he's good. They're good with wearing their mask and all that stuff. Like all the stuff that we all worried about um, and no fighting about it, which is great. <laughs> so that's the win. And the fail, well, there was our first trip to Disneyland and my daughter decided at the Starbucks in downtown Disney to kind of go into that little, there's like a little corner area where you can see like drawings or something on the wall. And we couldn't find her because we didn't see her wander off. So we're freaking out because there's, you know, no magic bands or any way to like track her. Like there is a Disney world and she was just there the whole time. And she's like, you just left. You just left Starbucks without me. I saw you walk out. Why did you leave me sitting here? And I was like, I did it. I thought you ran. Yeah. But anyway, so she's good. We're good. We had a great trip, but yeah. <laughs> But those are the heart stopping moments that I think every parent has when you look in a store and you can't see your kid. It is the most terrifying yes. of your life. And you think this is it. This is where my whole life changes. Yes, right. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for sharing it. Okay. Next is going to come from Candy from Candy Palooza. What is your Toon Squad and Goon Squad moments? Oh, no, you're muted. Oh, do you mind unmuting Candy? Sorry. <laughs> I was muted. Hi. Uh, well, mine's a combo. Um, we're a military family and every two to three years we move. And when my son um, started first grade, we moved to West Texas and it was a, the fail was that, you know, every time we move, I have to find my kids new friends. Mm -hmm. um, they do some of the work, but if mom can help, you know, I can, I can help. And um, he had met uh, this, you know, he he'd made a friend in school and he said, look, mom, that's my friend, Preston. Like, that's his friend. There's his mom. Ask him if they can come to my birthday party. So I'm in my car and they're walking by because she's, you know, we're, this is after school and um, she's walking by and I'm like, okay, Candy, you can do this. Just, just do it. <laughs> so I roll my window down and I'm like, Hi, I'm Candy. Um, my son, we're new here. He just, you know, he's friends with your son. Would you guys come in to a birthday party with us? And they were like, sure. And um, it's 14 years later and um, we just, we are in Arizona now. So we drove through West Texas and we stopped to see them. We're still friends. So that was, yeah. 
<laughs> it's, a, it's a fail. Like I said, it's a fail when we move, but it's a win um, when I'm, when I can do that for my kids. So wow. your kids must be super resilient too. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so. It's amazing. Okay. Our next Toon Squad, Goon Squad moment is going to come from Lynette Fernandez from Fantastic Life. Hello. I was trying to think of specifics. I feel like I fail so often. Um, uh, a win, I would say every time, um, I don't like they get it, like they know how much I love them and how much I sacrifice for them and how much they want to do for others. I'm like, yes, they're sort of getting it. A fail, I would say happened about 10 years ago. I don't know what I was doing. I was leaving the grocery store and my kids were probably about, I don't know, six, five or six. And my son was like three or four and I was putting everything into the car. They were in the car. And for some reason I got locked outside of the car and they were inside the car. So I'm like going crazy, like freaking out, thinking how am I gonna get my kids out of the car? What's gonna happen? And I'm going back and forth and my daughter rolls down the window. So like, what mommy, I can't hear you. And I'm like, oh my God. So then I was able to obviously get into the car. So it was a win cause they were okay. But I felt like the worst mom in the world when I thought I locked my kids in the car. <laughs> Way to problem solve though. Yeah, that wasn't me. That was all my daughter. <laughs> I'm saying, congrats. You gave them the tools to problem solve. Thank you. <laughs> I'll let the therapist know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Therapy bills. Um, the next uh, moments are going to come from Amanda Taylor from Guide for Moms. Hi. So first, my win. Well, um, my kids are very much allies for, for everything. And um, my daughter has you know, some friends and one of them are transgender and um, they went to use, I think they were at the mall. Yeah, they were at the mall and they wanted to use the restroom and one of them felt uncomfortable going in the boys and the girls. So they went to like the family restroom, right? And the security guard came up and started, you can't go in there. And, and uh, she stood up for him and got kicked out the mall, but I was proud. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she stood up for him. So that's a win. And then fail. Uh, uh, well, I like this story. So I, I was going to tell this one that one time we were in, you know, when they had buffets, remember that I miss a buffet and we're eating and everything. And they had like the waiter coming around with the dishes and getting everybody's dishes. And then he like dropped the whole tray and it was like lot, just shattered everywhere. And like it got so quiet, but my son turned around and all of a sudden he goes, was <laughs> and, and then everybody, I mean, I thought it was a little bit of a win because his comedic timing was like perfect, <laughs> but like by the faces of everybody, they were like, oh, <laughs> so that, I guess that's my fail. <laughs> at least it's, at least it's funny. <laughs> okay. Our next uh, two squad goon squads are going to come from Megan Cooper from Jump Monkey. Hi, thank you so much for being here. My husband and I are huge Star Trek fans. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, so one of my favorite wins is that um, I have two girls, but my youngest, who's nine, loves to eat like all kinds of food. So she's the opposite of the picky eater. She tries everything like she loves sashimi and um, cooking her own meals and doing all this other stuff. So um, I feel like she's my, she's my win <laughs> that I've succeeded in good nutrition for one child. Yeah. Um, and then my fail is I actually lost my family at a theme park <laughs> once because I was walking too fast to get to a ride and I completely lost them in the crowd and was just like turned around. I'm like, Oh, I guess I should wait for my family. <laughs> well. At least they were together and they weren't all separated. Okay, our last two squad goon squad moment's gonna come for Christy Rippey from Lights Camera Mom. Hi, thanks for being here. It's nice to see you. Um, so I think my, my parenting win um, last year during the pandemic, my son who was nine at the time, um, he organized a fundraising bike ride for the CNO Canal and he raised um, over $13,000 for, um, for to refurbish the Sienna Canal. He learned how to bike ride and he did a 50 mile bike ride that he organized all by himself. So that was really awesome. Um, and then my parenting fail, um, I would say we did a Disney cruise vacation right before the pandemic in January, 2020. And 
we actually kind of similar to some of the other stories, my three-year-old um, wandered away from us, which was super scary um, around the, the pools on the Disney dream deck. Um, my husband and I were, were swapping places on who was going to ride Aqueduct with the older, the older one. Um, but kind of a win and embedded in that we've always taught him how to identify workers when we go to theme parks, when we go places. And he was able to figure out who worked for who the lifeguards were and who everyone was. And he went to a safe person and found his way back to us. So that was really good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, thank you all for taking the time to share your Toon Squad, Goon Squad moments with us. Um, you know, Sonequa got to be enlightened by everybody's real life mama drama. Yeah. Um, but thank you guys. And Sonequa, thank you again for taking the time to listen to everybody and chat with everybody and have a candid conversation amongst us ladies. Yeah, thank you all. Those were wonderful stories. This was so lovely to be able to share this time with you amazing mothers. And, you know, I, I'm going to be, you know, I'm like taking notes and stuff because I've just got a fresh daughter now too. So I just, I appreciate all of you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the time and make sure that everyone goes to see Space Jam A New Legacy when it's out in theaters on July 16th and on HBO Max. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.